Hello, I'm the Budget Modder and this is episode 14 of my Meng 124th Fokker DR1 build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. So we've got all the wing ribs masked up. Now we can give them a further coat of Tamiya's XF23 Sky Blue. So without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. Now we're going to add some Tamiya White XF2 to lighten the sky blue and then respray over what we've just done, just to add a bit of contrast. So there we have that layer done. We're going to leave that overnight to dry and now we come to the tragic bit. No, we don't. Sorry, that's a rude song I know called the engineer song. If you don't know it, look it up. It's fun. Anyway, sorry, squirrel moment there. Now we come to the fun bit, removing the masking tape. So let's crack on and get that removed and see what we've got. There you go, you can just about pick it out there. The ribs are a little darker. Anyway, a little bit more to do, so let's carry on. There we go, that's the lighter sky blue done. Looking good. Next, we're gonna do a bit of deckling. I decided to start with the crosses on the sides of the fuselage, but for some reason, didn't quite trust the destructions. So I decided to do some research and would you believe it, Meng got it wrong. Here's the proof from the book DR1 Aces of World War One. Info's on the screen just below the aircraft about the guys who wrote it. 
which clearly shows that it is yellow behind the cross, not black, and that the wheels are yellow, not khaki. Oh, you can't win, can you? Now I've got to extend the yellow. Bugger. And I thought I'd finish with that dumb colour. Anyway, let's get this yellow extended. Spraying, spraying, sanding, spraying. There we have the fuselage prepped, ready for the yellow. All masked up. Unfortunately, I did some off-camera spraying. Yes, I know it's called forgetting to turn your camera on. Sorry. Anywho, let's get the fuselage, some struts, all sprayed with yellow after a bit of sanding. Here we go. There we have the yellow sprayed. Hopefully that's the end of it, but I doubt it. Now for some more masking. I'm doing the upper and lower wings ready for their various background colours for the crosses. So here we go. There we go, that's the upper and lower wings mask. Now to get some stuff sprayed black. I'm using Tamiya's XF85 Rubber Black. This looks a lot better at these scales rather than the straight black once I get the pot open. So let's get this lot sprayed up. It was at this point I'd noticed that I'd knocked one of the Mauser's front gun sights off. Bollocks.
there we have those black parts done. We can leave those to dry. Now we can get the background and the lower wind done and using Vallejo Sand 71.075. There we go. That's the lower wing done. Now for the props base coat. There's the props base coat done. A couple of light coats, then a wet one. Sorted. Now for removing the paint ridge on the yellow of the fuselage. I wanted to do this gently, so I took some high grip micro mesh sandpaper, the stuff we used on ejection seats, and started to very slowly bring down the ridge. ridges removed. That took 20 minutes of gentle sanding that didn't actually need to be done if men had done their research properly. Oh hum, hopefully someone can learn from this. So after a wipe down that's sorted. Now to move on to, yep, more yellow. Here we go again. There we have the yellow done again. Here's hoping, uh, nope, I'm gonna have to do some more yellow spraying later. I just noticed a yellow run on the top of the fuselage. We'll gently take that run off with a cotton bud. Uh, more yellow spraying to come at a later stage. Next we have one of my favorite things, unmasking. Woohoo, let's get it done. Now that's looking nice and crisp. Happy with that. I'm also reusing the tape here to do the leading edges ready for the car kit to go down on the upper surfaces. So let's carry on with this unmasking and remasking.
masked up and ready for the khaki to go down. Anywho, this seems like as good a place as any to end. So, thank you for watching episode 14. If you want to see what happens in episode 15, then please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.